And this is, we're basically using pattern matching to ensure that it adheres to a certain standard. So we can use PREG match for this. P reg match for this is a very 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 powerful function and like I said I'm not going to go through how we're going to check for patterns if you go over to the php.net manual you'll find plenty of information on uh, how to match specific things uh, whether it be uh, URLs so we could take out a host name from a URL but basically um, we're basically looking for patterns within strings and uh, doing things with that uh, and there's a variety of ways you can do this uh, returned as an array etc etc so uh, just for now that's basically the pred red pred match function um, let's go ahead and make this a bit more interesting we're gonna feed in a string uh, to a function and check if it's got spaces so let's go ahead and um, create our function and if you haven't already looked at functions don't worry follow along the example anyway and if you want to go back and look at functions and how they work uh, feel free to do so and come back to the tutorial if you don't understand what's going on so we're going to create a function called um, has uh, space and what we're going to do is re we're going to return true um, if this um, if the specific string has a space and we're going to return false if it doesn't so we're going to feed in the string as, a, uh, as an argument up here so now what we're going to do is we're going to say if and we're going to use the pred match function again to see if we have uh, like we defined before a space inside a specific string now the string comes from the argument that we've just fed in so if this does match, then we can return a value of true. So we can return true here. Otherwise, we can return false. Okay, so now what we want to do is we want to call this function down here, but we want to call it inside an if statement because we've, we've got our function, but as far as it goes at the moment when we refresh, we don't have anything because we haven't called it. So let's create an if statement and say if has space uh, and let's feed in some text so this doesn't have a space. If this has space, um, echo has a space. Else has no spaces. Okay, so or has at least one space now let's take this string out because I've just thought we it would be better to find inside a variable here and then we can just feed this variable in through there so let's recap of what we've done we've created a string here called this doesn't have a space or with a value this doesn't have a space with absolutely no spaces in it and then we're calling our function here and feeding in this argument which is essentially equal to this string here and now it's been processed here we're checking the pre mag uh, PR, preg match which we've already uh, looked at in the last part in the uh, first part of the tutorial and then if this function returns true which it will if it does have a space then we're going to say have at least one space or has at least one space otherwise we're, we're going to return false and we're going to say has no spaces so let's double check uh, and see if this works okay so it says now has no spaces because this string doesn't in fact have any spaces let's just create one space in it and see what happens okay so it now says has at least one space now if we just create all the spaces in it we need um, let's just put a uh, single quotation mark there and remember to escape single quotation marks when you're using single quotation marks outside uh, of your um, string data let's refresh and it still says has at least one space so that's a brief overview if you like of the pred match function and we've created our own little application here to check if um, a string data has a space or not um, but do feel free to go and look up the pred, uh, pred match um, uh, pattern checking and uh, it's very 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 in depth but um, yeah, once you do get your head around it you'll be able to look at it and uh, realize actually how useful it is for checking patterns within strings.